Welcome you to customer. This video I try to explain Universe EDA solution on the CentOS Linux environment using Microsoft ODVC driver 17. So how can you work with the universe external database access solution? First, you need to have a SQL server on your Windows environment somewhere. For my demo, I was using SQL Server 2019. And I have another video to set it up. You need to run Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and have some database and set up the uh, SQL Server uh, connection username and password and set the SQL user, SQL Server login user to connect from CentOS Linux, connect to your SQL Server. Next step, you need to install free Microsoft ODBC driver for SQL Server on Linux environment. Microsoft provides a, a simple way to install the Microsoft ODVC driver like a 17, like a 13, and other driver. Also include Unix ODVC driver manager tool to install it. I, I don't want to duplicate the demo on this video. If you want to learn it, you can see my another YouTube video. The major stop in this video, important thing I will show you is talking about EDA, how to set it up EDA on the server and run the EDA schema manager to create a schema and convert universe a file inside a, like a demo, like a H. sales, have a state file, have a customer file. I also duplicate the customer another one called customer2 because I like to show you additional function for EDA. So on the another video will show you how to install Microsoft ODVC driver 17. You also can go to the uh, micro Microsoft website uh, step by step to install. Basically you just run a couple commands you can install the Microsoft ODBC driver on your CentOS Linux environment. So after you install driver, also include the Unix ODBC driver manager and inside driver manager actually install under forward slash user forward slash lib64 they have a call libodbc.so. Then that is the Unix ODBC driver manager. The next step for EDA on Linux, you need to run EDA setup.sh script file to set up the EDA config file. Also need the universe EDA license. After you set up the environment, then you can start the EDA schema manager tool to set up the EDA data source. Then you can create the schema and convert your universe file to remote database. For this demo, I use in SQL Server 2019. So next, I will show you step by step to talking about how you work on your environment. So after you set the environment, definitely you need to test to verify your uh, ODBC connection on your CentOS to SQL Server is successful. So I will show you the first day on the Unix 
they have a lip 64 let's the old EVC driver manager install here so you will see the a lot of library inside this folder so special particular for lift ODBC so you will see there's a major one called lift ODBC.so file also after you install the Microsoft ODBC driver manager you will install uh, two, in, two in, important configuration files one is called uh, ODBC INST file so you can see ODBC INST.ini so inside here after you install driver basically if you install uh, ODBC driver 17 you will see this setting additional setting you need to manually do if you want to turn on the logging you need to add additional couple line to turn the ODBC trace lock on or off so after you install it and you need to define uh, where's the SQL server so for my environment I using uh, set up the ODBC i9 so that's I'm setting uh, to my SQL server so that's the uh, the machine name and user na uh, the SQL server user and SQL server password and setting most important one for EDS solution is require additional parameter setting we call uh, mass uh, mass underscore connection setting for SQL server what is the mass mass is called uh, let's call multiple active resource sets they will require for EDA so after you set it also have iSQL command so you can test it iSQL v SQL server 2019 YouTube YouTube password so we know on the server iSQL is working successful so after environment setup is ready the next step you start to set up uh, EDA environment so we can see the to universe home directory the first step you need to verify your EDA license is on so for universe you can run the UV region so very important you need to see the EDA flag is yes otherwise you try to connect to uh, your universe server you have said no EDA license you cannot make connection to after you set it the next step you need to uh, set up the EDA config file uh, inside the uh, bin folder they have a setting to call uh, EDA setup tool so that's the command so I show you how to run it so you can bin uh, bin EDA setup.sh so this one uh, is ODBC so you need to choose ODBC auction and inside the ODBC uh, it can be easy soft or other ODBC driver for this one is particular is called MS ODBC so that's the uh, the ODBC driver pass actually is a link to where to find the ODBC driver manager so it's updated actually it's created called EDA config file so you can manually to create the EDA config file or you can run the EDA 
set up the SH script file to generate a list configuration file. So after a set up on the server side, then next step you will be uh, before we run the EDA schema manager. So how uh, EDA are uh, working on the server file. So you will see on the universe home directory, you will see the couple of um, file is very important. Uh, one is called uh, EDA data source. One is called EDA underscore driver. Another one is called EDA underscore exception. All relate relate to EDA environment files. So every time you create the EDA data source, you will update here called EDA data source. So next step, I, I need to uh, using the EDA schema manager tool. Uh, here the EDA schema manager tool. When you make a connection, then I set up uh, already set up on the, this server, on this uh, uh, SQL server uh, 2019 and have a one demo database called UV underscore database. So inside here, every time I run uh, EDA.convert, you will connect to here to uh, generate the table inside this server, SQL Server environment. So uh, when I start to create it, uh, connect to EDA schema manager I can uh, reconnect for this machine so I can disconnect so close it I can connect so I re lock in the username password the first step you will need to uh, create the EDA data source so you can right click and you can create the EDA data source and I already created so that's the uh, I create called SQL Server 2019 EDA data source the very important thing this the EDA data source the name is called DSN name the name must be match the name defined in the odbc.ini file for the driver on the Linux you have three options for this one is ODBC, you need to choose the COM driver. The next step, you need to create a user. So this user actually is SQL Server user called YouTube. Then you create the uh, part, it will ask you the password. I will show you again. So for example, I can delete, I can edit. So here I just connect YouTube. So the password will be finish so pe before you can continue you just need to create a user password and test it so look like the EDA data source is connect to the, your server successful actually this setting will store in the EDA data source file in the UV, UV home directory the password username password actually is different one so I will show you on the back end side the server environment so here I can show you log to hs.sales so here is the universe so actually it's EDA data source so it's created one entry in the EDA underscore database uh, EDA data source file they have SQL Server 2019. If you look at the VOC file for EDA data source, you will see this file actually exists in the UV home directory. When you get out the uh, universe shell, go to the uh, UV home directory. Inside here, the password actually is create dot YouTube security. 
they have uh, another uh, folder. Uh, the file actually called .eda security file. So every time you add a user, actually store the EDA username password inside the .eda security file. After EDA data source has been created, then we can try to convert universe universe file became EDA EDA file. So for example, I will show you the customer. I right click, uh, you can new uh, EDA map schema. I can generate the customer schema. Next step, I choose the SQL Server 2019 and data source. The next step, I select all by default. So after schema created, so on customer have a multi-body field. So you will actually will generate one table or single value table called customer. Also have orders underscore MV. You will see all multi-body field here. So after you create it, uh, you can uh, click here to uh, run the uh, map uh, the very verified. So we see the verify is success. So you also can see uh, the you can see the all the script how they generate table. So after you create it, so you can run the uh, uh, EDA uh, conversion. So here I can run the conversion on the customer file. So up, after customer file is convert successful you will see the data will be convert to SQL Server so you see a uh, successful only 12 records on the on the SQL Server size so after you convert it you go back to uh, go SQL Server Manager Studio so you can right click on refresh. So here you will generate the customer dot customer and customer dot order orders and let's go MV. That is for a uh, customer file became two uh, table. If you go back to uh, server side, you will see uh, actually. Actually, for customer, it will be uh, they actually you will see the customer and that customer that EDS safe. Actually, that's original universe file, and after you convert it, actually create one a uh, new file called customer. So this file, customer, actually is an EDA file. It's the pointer. They store all the configuration, how they connect to SQL Server. So if you go back to uh, Universe, uh, log to sales, it list. Customer. So when you run the list command, customer, all the data actually is come from SQL Server. The universe file it does not store in the your local machine. The next step, I will show you a little bit of the concept for I create actually another table called. Uh, customer two basically is same thing on on this machine. So uh, uh, just the same table for customer. But I, will, I will show you a little bit concept for uh, I type field uh, conversion. The on the customer file, I only convert everything is the uh, D type field. And another one. 
if you look at the schema I create on the EDA schema manager so that's another one called EDA uh, customer 2 So customer to basically is the same thing like a customer, but I put a uh, show you couple different uh, I type field. For example, I already generally call full name. Full name is the I type field. So how they define I type field for the I type field you have a two auction. One auction is generally the output is called data. If you if you specify is called data, actually it will store the real data inside the SQL Server table. So you will see. I will show you later on the full name how they store in the SQL Server table. Let's just define very simple called full name and data. Another one called state name. So state name I can define is called trends. Before you can use the trends because the state name is referenced to the state file so before you can define the trends function the refer table must be exec on the SQL server because I already convert the state file before so state file actually is the EDA file so they already create on the SQL server have called state state table so that's the trends and generally call state that state is already on the server side on the SQL side. Then actually it's by name. Its output reference is the table is called state dot states dot states and the output field is the name. But how they get the this name state name actually is based on the reference parameter called state. And this, the state actually is a reference is here, is the customer state actually is the ID. So that's just uh, how they reference called a state ID. Also, uh, a couple example, for example, like the uppercase name. Uh, so this one is also using expression I just convert the last name all character became uppercase. So this one just like a trends or like a upper uppercase underscore name this two field is not store real data inside the SQL server. Actually it will create a view. So I will show you after I run the conversion I will see uh, the result and to show you what the output look like. So it's successful, just the same thing like a customer file. But if you go back to a SQL Server, so for this one, I need to refresh. So inside here, if you're looking for uh, customer two, so that's the customer two dot customer two. So the data is all a uh, D type field. So if you I uh, select to the D type field, so compare the customer original customer file because I have a setting for I type field called full name. It's the D type field. So you will see inside the customer two that customer two table, they have an additional column called full name, and they will see all the full name data here. 
but we also define two additional i-type field. One is called state name, and another, another field is called uppercase last name. So actually, it creates uh, another view. So I will show you uh, where is the view. So if we go here, you see this is the you will automatic generally called customer2 dot customer2 underscore v so inside here you will see all the d type field information plus additional i type field one is called state name another is called uppercase name so you will see the state but these two additional fields is no data there, it's just a view. So you might like to see uh, more how they convert iType field. I do have a blog to explain how it works. You also can see the uh, EDA documentation to get how they mapping like a other like a other like a call subroutine, how they export to a SQL Server. They have a lot of settings, so I will put the link inside this YouTube video so you can easy to learn a more additional setting. So I hope you can enjoy this video and to learn how to work with EDA with the SQL Server. Uh, thank you for your watching.